prove that these two statements are equivalent. This is an example of what's called a distributive rule. And if you think back to algebra, we talked about distributing things, where for instance, if we had something like this, we could distribute this multiplication across addition by multiplying two times x and then adding that to two times three. The same thing holds with or and and, where you can think of and as multiplication and or as addition. So if I have p and, and then in parentheses q or r, I can distribute that p through the parentheses by taking p and q, that's like two times x, or, that's like the plus, p and r, that's like two times three. So we distribute this and across parentheses and we write it like the expression on the right. So that's why we call it a distributive rule because it's just like distributing multiplication across addition. But now we're gonna prove that these are equivalent by building a truth table with a column for each of them. Again, we have p, q, and r, so we need three initial columns and eight rows to account for all the possibilities. And then we simply go through and build a column for each of the operations that we notice. So first we notice there's a q or r. So I combine q and r using the rule for or, which would be true, 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 false, true, false. Again, the only time the or is false is if neither q nor r is true. p and q, I'm gonna combine p and q columns using and, which is true when both are true and false otherwise. So it'll be true, false, 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 true, false, false, false. Then do the same thing with p and r. So we get true, true, false, false, and then the last four are all false as well. Next, we get the entire left hand side of this equivalence, P and Q or R. So we'll combine P and Q or R with the rule for and. Again, true if both of them are true and false otherwise. So that would be true, true, false, false, and then true and three more falses. Lastly, we get the right-hand column by combining P and Q and P and R, both of which we built, using the OR combination. OR, again, is true when either of them is true. So it's gonna be true, true, then false, because they're both false, false again, and then true, and the last three of them, they're both false, so the last three are false as well. So notice we have what we hope to get. We have this column and this column are identical, proving that those two statements are equivalent. In other words, proving that this distribution works as it should, that this distributive rule holds for the or and and operations.